In this video, we're gonna talk about fragrances that possess the wow effect, the wow factor. There are a few notes that I think do that perfectly no matter what time of the year, if you choose to wear tobacco scents, boozy scents, leather scents, and the other ones that I'm gonna talk about in this video, they will definitely make you stand out and give you that refined, upper class, refined feeling about yourself. So if you wanna check out these fragrances and the choices, and by the way, this is a top 20 video. So get comfortable and let's get into it. Welcome back to another video, Max here. Now for this video, I'm gonna give you guys four choices of each one of the categories. There are five categories, and within each one of the categories, I'll tell you what they are, and I'm gonna give you four choices. The choices are designer, it's going to be a upper scale, higher end designer, a niche option, and an uber niche, like really, you know, refined and, and you know, top quality uber niche kind of a category. So there's something for every budget and every taste. You're gonna find something you love within those characters, the characteristics of the fragrances, the notes and the chords, you'll be able to enjoy it no matter what budget you have. One thing to keep in mind is that some of these or a lot of these are going to be interchangeable, meaning one of those categories may have two or three of those notes. You could have like a boozy cinnamon or a you know, leather tobacco scent, but I will choose to give you choices that are predominant within those notes. So without any further ado guys, let's hop into it. Kicking off the list, we're gonna talk about boozy scents. I love boozy fragrances. I think it definitely has that wall effect that uh, that's something else that gives you that special feeling, whether it be whiskey, cognac, rum, you know, absinthe, it doesn't matter. It's going to give you that booziness effect that I think really, gives you an edge over, you know, your citrus, aromatic scents. Not that they're bad, but I think if they don't have that booziness to them, you know, it's missing that something else. So all the fragrances you have there, we're gonna kick it off with this one here, which I'm telling you, you know, mill for mill, when it comes to greatness, this is boozy and it's leathery. We're talking about a very inexpensive fragrance that delivers and packs up a punch. This is Bentley for Men Intense. You guys heard about this fragrance. If you haven't, this is a must try. Incredible niche quality smell. Niche quality performance, smells incredible. We're talking leather, we're talking rum. It's a dark rum facet, you know, a dark leather facet. It's, it's got a little patchouli in the base also. Very central, very sexy, very different than anything you've tried out there within Boozy Scents. But again, that rum up top, it's really gonna capture you at hello. Great stuff right here. Now we're going to the second option here within the Boozy Scents. This is going to be from a niche house, but with a partnership with a designer brand, which is J. Crew. This is Arquist's J. Crew number 57. Now, I love this fragrance. I spoke about this fragrance with you guys over the years. I think the first time I spoke about this fragrance, I was the first one to talk about this fragrance on YouTube, which I believe was 2014, 2015. Now, this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, the whiskey note here is just absolutely fantastic. It's like a, you know, an 18, 21 year old whiskey, you know, that you open up and you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna, you know, just feel very uh, boss-like, very CEO type of a scent. But then you have oak, which that whiskey was aged in an oak barrel. So you have that oak feel here, patchouli, resins, you know, cinnamon. This is an outstanding boozy fragrance. If you love whiskey, guys, check this out. And by the way, this is a 50 mil, which I think will run about $90. It's not cheap, but for what you're getting here, I think it's worth every penny. If you love Boozy, guys, this is one you should definitely check out. Now, over the last two years, I've discovered a brand that really took my breath away. I think their combinations of woods with booziness and resins just make them stand out in the crowd. This is a niche house now, uh, and this is definitely my favorite from this brand. And of course, it happens to be a boozy scent, which has a gorgeous note of cognac paired up with plum, which I also think is amazing for this time of the year, but really you could wear anytime. If you want something central, resinous, and really with that wild character, guys, plum and cognac from Sense of Wood is that such scent. This stuff here, guys, oh my God, sweet, boozy, resinous just intricate, appealing, attractive is the right word here. Very attractive scent. Plumbing cognac from scents of wood. If you haven't tried, you're missing out. Now, when it comes to the note of boozy, when it comes to boozy, you know, fragrances, I think whiskey is definitely my favorite with cognac being right there, right next to it. And this one here has a perfect note again of whiskey. This is like if you mix Baraonda from Nasomato with tobacco and oud from Tom Ford Private Blend, you would get this fragrance right here with resins and spices and dried fruits. This is Uniki's Luxury Extract de Parfum Kutai. I've spoken about this fragrance with you guys so much. It is one of my favorite discoveries of this year so far. And by gosh, the whiskey here is just absolutely outstanding. One of the best, ah, it's, it's just amazing. Um, 
it's just mouth-watering good. If you love and you, and you, you know whiskey smells and tastes, this one here captures it perfectly. Kutai from Unique Luxury. Incredible stuff. Now we're gonna talk about tobacco. Now tobacco is another note that has this really nice, um, powerful vibe about it. I think if it's not done in a very, although there's one here that's quite animalistic and very natural to the smell of tobacco, I think most of the tobacco scents when they're paired with nice resinous and uh, you know creamy and also sweet notes, it is really a great scent that could be sensual, could be great for dates, for night outs, for dresser occasions. Just like this one here, Bulgari Men in Black, this is going to be leather, tobacco, but again, the tobacco accord here with the leather, the benzoin, which is a very nice resinous vanilla and the tonka bean has this beautiful sweetness to it. But the tobacco here, the dried fruits is done to perfection. Such a great combination, a little bit more mature scent, but if you're looking for something for dressier occasions, guys, look no further. This is a stunning scent right here. Now we're going to upscale designer. I gave you guys a designer for tobacco. Now upscale designer is going to be this one here, which is a very niche-like scent. We're talking about mystery tobacco from Carolina Herrera's um, confidential collection. Now this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, is very, very powerful tobacco scent. It reminds me of Mancera's red tobacco. However, this one here is much better blend much smoother, much creamier. The sandalwood here is amazing, but the tobacco is depicted in a very beautiful manner. It's very intrinsic, very sensual, very appealing, very attractive. Attractive is something that I look for in these fragrances because when it comes to the wow effect, you know, the wow factor, it must be attractive, it must be compelling, it must draw you in. And that's exactly what Mystery Tobacco does. This collection is actually very nice, and this is definitely one of the best that this collection has to offer. Mystery Tobacco from Carolina Herrera's Confidential Collection. Now for the niche option, I'm gonna give you a choice that is the most natural tobacco scent in this whole lineup of fragrances, especially with the tobacco. However, it's also the most daring one. Uh, from Royal Crown, this is Habanos. Now, if you know a Maduro smell, if you go into a cigar shop and you pick up a Maduro, it's a very dark cigar, and you smell that cigar, it's exactly, I go easy on the sprayer because this stuff is, is like an entity, it's very beastly. Habanos, but I love it, guys. I'm telling you that beastly, animalistic tobacco Maduro vibe is definitely present here throughout the whole life of the scent. So you must really be a connoisseur and enjoy tobacco, dark, animalistic, honey tobacco to enjoy this one. Forget about Naxos or um, Pure Havan from, from, from Ugler. Those are great tobacco scents, but those are the more cherry pipe tobacco, very sweet, uh, very romantic. This is also has that wild honey factor, but the Maduro, uh, the, the natural tobacco leafy and very greedy and, and nutty and, and dark facet is captured here to the T. So you must really like that dark part of tobacco to enjoy this one. I love it for special occasions and sometimes, you, I must be craving for this because it's not very easy to wear. But if you love the note of tobacco, this one captures it perfectly. Now upscale niche, uber niche, however you want to call it. This is the one that I love and it's love at it first sniff for me. The very time I try this, very first time, I fell in love with it and I couldn't wait to get a bottle to wear it, especially right now in the fall. You can wear this anytime, you just have to control the sprayers. This is going to be Amouage's library collection, Opus 14 Royal Tobacco. And this is a tobacco fit for it royalty. It is an amazing tobacco scent. I have a full review. I'm not going to get too much because you know, I have a lot of ground to cover, 20 fragrances, but I'm going to pop up here the full review. Go check it out. This is a regal tobacco fit for royalty, guys. Royal tobacco from Amouage. This is like an end-all be-all tobacco for me right now. I'm in love with this stuff and you guys should definitely try it. By the way, speaking of Amouage, for those of you that don't know, there is a great niche perfume event convention experience happening on December 2nd and 3rd, which is Scent Explore 2022. Fourth annual Scent Explore is an international niche perfume convention that happens in New York City every year. This is the fourth annual. It happens hybrid this year, however. You can join us virtually or in person, guys. Details below, details at scentexplore.com. We're gonna have workshops, masterclasses, Q&A panels. You're gonna meet perfumers, directors, behind the scene look at brands, gift bags with a ton of samples from the brands. Guys, don't miss out. It's going fast. We're about more than halfway through uh, the available registration. So I urge you guys, go check it out. Details below. I truly hope to see you there. It's gonna be one for the books, trust me. It's the fourth year and this is the biggest one yet. New York City, December 2nd and 3rd, virtually or in person. I truly hope to see you there. And of course, if you come in person, come say hello. I really want to meet you. Now we're talking about the note of cinnamon. Cinnamon has a very nice energetic, but also cozy effect on me. It's really weird. When I, when I first sprayed cinnamon, I feel like really energized and hyped up, just like the coffee fragrances. But then it gets really cozy and cocoony and then it calms me down. So 
all fragrances here will have that effect because they have a very predominant cinnamon note within them. Starting with London's here from Burberry, Burberry London Man. It's a great cinnamon fragrance, but it's also coniferous, also has a little bit of a soft tobacco note in here. But the cinnamon is really predominant here from top to bottom. And what this reminds me of, it reminds me of the holiday season, Christmas, Thanksgiving. It has that effect because I wore this for many years throughout those seasons, so it has a very special place in my heart. Burberry London, Christmas or holiday season in a bottle. Just great stuff. It's like a, a creamy holiday drink type of a thing. The cinnamon here is really up front and center. Next up, we have a fragrance that I bought when it first came out. I loved it when I first tried it on. I was like, I gotta have this in my collection. This is actually a vintage bottle from 2012. Nose here is Olivier Poge, which is the in-house perfumer of Chanel. So you know it's quality. We're talking Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf. And this, even though it's a quote unquote leather and tobacco scent, what you're gonna get here is a very beautiful, embery sweet tonka with heavy dose of cinnamon. There is a ton of cinnamon here from beginning to end. It's like a, again, almost like a creamy cinnamon drink. Beautiful, embery, sweet, spicy, and I absolutely love the cinnamon. I adore the cinnamon in this fragrance. If you're a cinnamon lover out there, guys, Spice Bomb, the original, is definitely great. Of course, you can go with the extreme. I favor this bottle here because again, it's original, it's from 2012, and the cinnamon here is just done to perfection. Now, if you really, really love the note of cinnamon and you want something very cinnamon natural smelling, this next one is an explosion of cinnamon with pink pepper, vanilla, and resins from MFK, Maison Francis Kershaw, you know it's quality. This is Ciel de Gum, originally released in Russia. It was an exclusive release of that market, but now you can find this all over the world. Look at the juice, guys, just like a cinnamon, a red hot cinnamon. This is exactly that, red hot pink pepper oh, and cinnamon, just heaven. If you love cinnamon, guys, this is one you should definitely have in your collection. No questions about it. Now we're going to the Uber Niche here. This one is going to be from the House of Blend Oud and it's called Sana. I think I spoke to you guys about this fragrance a couple of times. It made top lists of my, in my channel. One of the best discovery houses of the year. Blend Oud is quality through and through it. If you want a very heavy cinnamon, but it has a very nice, um, compelling gourmand backdrop with caramel, vanilla, tonka, and patchouli. Gorgeous cinnamon here, but also has a very beautiful dessert-like caramel gourmand backdrop. But the cinnamon here again, featured very up front and center from beginning to end. Real quickly before I give you the two last categories, which are going to be leather and coniferous, pine cone, you know, those kind of scents. I'm gonna tell you guys that you can try all the fragrances, your all 20 choices in this video and thousands to choose from, whether it be designer, niche, India, doesn't matter. You can choose them at perfume.com. Try, get a decant, live with it, no matter the size, small or bigger, it doesn't matter. You can live with the scent. Really make sure it agrees with your body chemistry, your setting, you know, the occasions. And if you love it, ready to commit to a full bottle, then you can head over to fragrancebuy.ca, both partners of this, of this channel. And by the way, if you join the crew, uh, at perfume.com, you can get extra discounts at fragrancebuy.ca. Of course, we work in tandem. And that is why I share with you because I want you guys, obviously, to get the most for your money and the biggest bang for your buck. So, of course, guys, perfume.com, the best place to try fragrances before you buy. And of course, fragrancebuy.ca, the best one to buy fragrances when you're ready to commit for a full bottle. Of course, check out the uh, new arrivals and rare gems at fragrancebuy.ca. That's where I find a lot of these fragrances that I'm sharing with you today. Next up, we're talking about the note of leather. Now, leather has this very badass kind of a vibe. When you wear leather fragrances, you gotta just be careful you don't get those really hard to wear, rough and tumble, you know, animalistic leathers, because they could be, especially old fashioned ones like, like uh, Q that you see from uh, Chanel, or some of the old school, you know, vintage leathery, quote unquote, fougere laced kind of fragrances, because they, they could be a little hard to wear, especially in the beginning when you first spray them on. But these all fragrances here will have that wall effect, and it's definitely going to invite people in. Especially this one here, the first choice in the designer category is going to be Tom Ford Ombre Leather, which originally was released, of course, Tuscan Leather, Ombre Leather 16, and then those private blends were a little bit toned down, more commercially, uh, universally accepted, poured into the signature line as Ombre Leather, as you see here, then we have the Ombre Leather Parfum, which is the other iteration of this fragrance, but whichever one you choose to go with, it's going to give you a very nice, leather jacket, you know, I like to say, just like the label here, a black leather jacket, which will give you this like really nice, um, confident vibe about yourself. That's exactly how I feel when I'm wearing this, this fragrance and everyone I talk to that loves this fragrance wear it because it gives them that sense of confidence. Umber leather, you guys know all about it. And if you don't know it, check it out. Now, upscale designer, and again, this could have been the niche and the Tom Ford could have been upscale, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting this one here in the upscale designer because number one, it's very hard to find 
And the price of this fragrance sometimes it's like a niche fragrance. So, and of course the scent itself is amazing. This is going to be Fahrenheit Lip Parfum from Christian Dior. This could have been easily a private blend, uh, like from the Dior La Collection Privé or Maison Dior. This could have been one of those scents because it's just so amazing. You have violet leaves, you have that kind of patrol vibe that you get with the leather and violet from the original, but it's in the back, back end of the fragrance. The beginning here, it's going to be this gorgeous vanilla bourbon, kind of a few lace with a beautiful suede leather vibe. So the suede leather here is going to greet you from the beginning, the first sprayer, and it's going to dry down even more prominent. So if you love a very nice, smooth, sweater-like scent, this is definitely one to choose. This is sensual stuff, guys. I'm telling you, you're looking for something special to wear, for those special occasions where you want to smell like no one else, Le Parfum is the way to go. Next up, we have the niche option, guys. Now, Aqua de Parma does quality through and through. And this one here is my favorite from this particular line, which is going to be the Colonia, but the Cologne Concentrate Collection. This is going to be leather. Now, if you love the smell of a high-end, exotic, or luxury car leather upholstery, that's exactly, look at the sprayers, guys. That's exactly what you're gonna get here with Aqua de Parma leather. This is again the Cologne Concentrate, which I think is the best concentration you can find in this fragrance, but it smells exactly, I can picture myself opening the door and getting that new upholstery, you know, refined luxury leather kind of a vibe, you know, with the seats. That's what I'm getting here. So, or a beautiful leather glove that you have or a leather garment, doesn't matter. It's a very natural smelling leather. One of the best leathers in the game, period. Now, perhaps you're looking for an uber niche style leather. You want something a little bit more daring, a little bit more uh, intricate and exotic. Guys, look no further. We have private label here from the house of Jovoy. The nose behind this fragrance is none other than Cecile Zerokian, which I shared a couple of fragrances here on this list that she was actually the nose of. So she's an amazing perfumer, one of the best of our times. In private label, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be this gorgeous, very exotic, dark, rough leather laced with vetiver, but truly resins. Very powerful stuff. This is like a, this will clean up a room. So don't go crazy on the sprayers, but if you love vetiver, if you love leather, this is definitely one of the best leathers in the game. In my top five leather fragrances of all time. Hence the fact it's here. If you have a little bit of coin and you want just an uber niche kind of leather, look no further guys, private label. This last category, I think it's very underrated. Many people disregard this category. They think it's uh, too mature or hard to wear. But I'm telling you, the ones I'm giving you right now are blended to perfection. And when I talk about this particular coniferous, you know, note or accord, I'm talking about fragrances that have cypress, fragrances that have hinoki, which is a type of cypress, fragrances that have the pine cone that I love. It's just, it resembles the holiday season for me, especially if it's a spicer, uh, you know, pine cone, pine needles. So all fragrances here will have that beautiful coniferous green, uh, spicy kind of a green uh, accord, which I love. Kicking off the designers here is going to be Pasha de Cartier. I've spoken highly about this fragrance. It was my favorite release a couple years ago from the designer side of things. This is absolutely amazing, stunning juice right here. You have the balsam fur along with the pine needles vibe throughout the whole life of the fragrance, but you also have spices. You also have whiskey here. So it's boozy and it's also coniferous, the best of both worlds. Like I told you, some of these will have a few of the, of the different accords that will give you that wall effect. And this one here is definitely a wow factor kind of a scent. Now, this upscale designer, this house is kind of hard to find here in America. You can find mostly in Canada. Uh, obviously, fragrance by that say is where I usually pick this up. I have a couple backup bottles because this is the best one, but all of the fragrances from the own line of Bottega Veneta will have the pine, the balsam fir, and the leather accord. But the balsam fir along with the pine will give you that beautiful coniferous accord that I'm talking about. This is Bottega Veneta Pour Homme Parfum. The leather here is amazing, guys but obviously the pine needle along with the pine cone and the balsam fir is just amazing. It's here throughout the whole life of the fragrance. This is like a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's one of the best in this category, period. You know, if you're looking for a great coniferous scent to wear, especially right now, and you love leather fragrances also, there's a beautiful leather dark accord here. This is a stunning juice. The best there is, guys. Long lasting, powerful, sensual. Believe me, it's a little bit more mature, but it's gonna make you smell like a million bucks. Trust me. Now talk about a green beast. This is like the Hulk of fragrances, just like we talk about the blue beast with interlude man from Amouage. This is the green beast because it has all these green facets that I'm talking about. Oak moss, 
you know, pine cones, cypress, but it amps it up with leather, tobacco, and rum. We're talking about eight packs from Roja Parfums. And by the way, there's a new one coming out, which is a parfum. This is an older parfum. There's a parfum edition coming out that I can't wait to try because it's probably going to be even more nuclear than this one. But this one, if you love the coniferous green kind of sense, it has the old school vibe. This is very reminiscent of Italian Cypress from Tom Ford Private Blend, which has been discontinued, but really amped up. Amps up all those dark, beautiful green notes with the rum, the tobacco, and the leather. Amazing green juice right here. The uber niche uh, choice here is going to go to a fragrance that I shared with you guys years ago. And I think it is my favorite piney kind of a fragrance. This is resinous, it's smoky, and it's piney. We're talking about Arzo from Perfume Aroma. Now, if you guys know anything about this brand from Italy, you know that all of their fragrances are beastly in performance. They are incredible. No two ways about it. Minimalist bottle, the juice is just fantastic. Arzo is very piney. It's got that pine cone to the core, along with lots of resins and lots of smoke. If you like a very resinous piney scent, guys, this is your fix right here. Arso from the House of Perfume Aroma. In fact, check out the whole brand because they have incredible stuff that's long lasting, powerful, and just beastly. There you have it. So those are the notes. Those are the five different notes that I love to wear when I'm looking for the wow fact, the wow factor when I walk into a room. All these fragrances, guys, will give you their upper edge. Doesn't matter your budget, whether you go with the designer choices, the uh, you know upper designer, the niche or the upper niche, you're going to smell amazing. Granted, you must love these notes and of course, wear them well. As always guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts, let me know what your favorite notes are and fragrances that give you that upper feeling, that, that, that upper class refinement. And uh, while in fact, I'd love to read your comments, maybe find something new myself. As always, if you appreciate the channel, leave a like, subscribe and touch the bell so you get these videos straight into your feet. And I'll see you right back here with another video very soon. Take care.